These clouds are obviously animated. Save when he clawed your belly with the iron hook he has instead of a right hand. I'm pretty sure the hook is steel, not iron. Stalking. The night on which the extraordinary adventures of these children may be said to have begun. Narration. <laughs> Unnecessary jump scare. Mr. Darling was a banker who knew the cost of everything, even a hug. What? So there it was, perfectly conspicuous in the right-hand corner. A kiss located on the corner of your lip? Does that really exist, or is this something British people would like to think about? Michael was mouthing the words John is speaking. So, our children are educated nowadays. Well, that was rude. My unfulfilled ambition is to write a great novel in three parts about my adventures. Three parts? What adventures? I've yet to have them. Kid, just use your imagination. That's what everybody does. Unless, of course, you don't think it's a journey to a magical land with pirates. Mary? Mary. Mary. Characters repeat the same word one by one cliche. Wit is very fashionable at the moment. Wit, a perfect reason to start taking shots. Or stalking. More unnecessary jump scares. I must become a man that children fear and adults respect. So I'll dress up in a pirate outfit with a hook later on. I should make children fear and adults respect me. More stalking. The appearance of a flying boy apparently stops time. Nobody but Aunt Millicent hears this shit. After Aunt Millicent checks on the children, she closes the door, but when she's started by her own shadow, the door is ajar. Why are you crying? Concussion. Also, the light fixture hangs flush with the ceiling under a decorative medallion under the base. But later on, the fixture hangs down on a really long chain. Peter. Pan. Roll credits. And that's the only time I'm saying it. Where do you live? Second to the right, and then straight on till morning. You forgot to say star, you moron. This may hurt a little. Okay, but who turned on the lights? That didn't sound right. Peter's feet are not covered in blood after having a needle go through him. Whoa, too far. I'll retract this in because that was a stupid thing to do. Don't even think about it, Peter. John and Michael don't hear this sh Could John and Michael come too? Um... No. Notice how earlier I said that the light fixture is on a chain, but when Peter tells him about happy thoughts, it's gone. <laughs> Aunt Millicent doesn't hear this sh What about mother? Father? Nana? Aunt Millicent? Pirates. Pirates? None of them actually said pirates. Their mouths were not moving to that word. None of them burned to death in the atmosphere of Earth, and they can breathe in space too. Also, non-existent space. And then they accidentally went into the wrong star. Sun Jesus. Mr. Darling also went to Neverland. Peter, don't you even think about... Oh, wait, never mind. More stalking. Do you tell stories? Yes. Then you're perfect. What? Ah! Peter! Ah! Were they playing around or was Peter actually trying to kill them? Ah! What were Michael and John running from? He could have been the crocodile. John and Michael snagged the trap, which wraps itself around one of their legs, but when they're hanging upside down, both their legs are trapped. I say, unhand that savage, you, you savage! Why would you do this? From your position, the pirates would be unable to see you. Hook has your brothers at the Black Castle. Not Skull Rock? For some reason, I am awfully reminded of Snoop Dogg here. Spiderweb face tattoos. <laughs> Concussion. Apparently I never let a knife can make its metallic rasping sound while underwater. You shall die. Then do it already. It's all a bit tragic, really, isn't it? Breaking the fourth wall. Love? I have never heard of it. I think you have, Peter. I dare say you felt it yourself for some thing or someone. Never. Even the sound of it offends me. Love is offensive to boys who don't want to grow up. Break at the fourth wall again. Peter closes the window from the outside with a bottom pane on the outside, but when the Darlings push the window back up, the bottom pane is on the inside. How the pirates manage to get the hut onto their ship without Wendy or anyone else noticing is beyond me. Growing up is such a barbarous business. 
full of inconvenience and pimples, and then the mess starts. I don't even know if that's PG. My fellows will return you once they found you. None of my crew will follow you. I swear it. Not yet, anyway. My new obsession is you. Pedophile. Ah! Oh. Concussion. Pirates are actually dying from a bunch of kids screaming about believing in fairies. Also, this is not a sin. I'm just gonna say it. I don't believe in fairies. I don't. I don't. Pirate Wilhelm. Peter's left hand grabs his sword when it flies in the air, but it's in his right hand in the next shot. Oh, bullshit. Hook has no happy thoughts. Fairy dust isn't the only thing you need to fly. More obviously animated clouds. Peter Pan rips off Bright Heart. One hand using your sword in one shot, but both hands are using it in the next. You can tell the shot is flipped because the hook is on the left hand now and the sword is in the right. Is this movie afraid of copyright infringement on its own material? Also, Hook never even touched Peter's head, but Peter is busted open throughout the rest of the sequence. Tink, I thought you were going to kill Wendy if she ever did that again. The world's ultimate blush. The pirates are thrown off the ship by Peter, but are not seen anywhere when Peter flies above. That is not Jeremy Sumter. But I was not to see Peter Pan again. Identity of narrator is revealed at the end. More obviously animated clouds. 